Congrats, obviously, uh, to get a win here in this arena, in this country. How good does that feel for you? Oh, it's freaking amazing. You know, obviously, proud to be Canadian, um, super fortunate, and uh, grateful and happy to have to be able to be honored to be here with the UFC and um, to give me the opportunity to fight here in what I consider my backyard. How many people did you have out here? Because behind us on Press Row, you had a very loud uh, section of supporters. I come from a large family, um, and I come from a small town, which has been my driving force behind my career and everything I've done growing up as a child in that town is through sport. Um, so I think, if I'm not incorrect, probably around 60, 75 people from Squamish are here tonight. That's awesome. Um, how did the fight go in comparison to like your game plan and your expectations? I mean, game plan was sort of to stand and strike with her, um, you know, get her up against the cage and sort of play that game with her. Uh, we knew that she was going to probably shoot and try to just take me down and, and um, I feel like that game plan was pretty accurate tonight. Um, so we were prepared for that dog fight and uh, willing to just to sort of just do whatever we need to be do doing to win that fight. And, um, you know, knowing that if I was on my back or on the ground, that I was just going to do everything I could to finish the fight with submissions or whatever it be. Yeah, were you confident when they were reading the split decision? I think, you know, 29-28 either way it could probably be 30-27. I think some people are surprised about. Yeah, I mean, everyone's going to be surprised when they get a 30-27 on a fight that they feel is very close. Um, you know, like I said, I feel like we, my team did a really good job preparing me for this fight, and I feel like I went in there and I put my whole heart and soul into that. Um, so I know that, uh, you know, in my heart, I feel like I did enough to win that. Yeah, were you confident when they were reading it though, or were you a little nervous? You know, obviously, even into the judges' hand, you just don't know, and I and I've experienced that in my other two fights at uh, super close fights. You just don't know what they're looking for that night. But um, I felt confident that I did the right things that we're going to be looking for the W tonight. Yeah, and two and one in the UFC now. You're you're here. I'm um, sure settling in well. So, like, where do you think this win takes you going forward? Um, I feel like uh, I'm here for a long time and a good time. So <laughs> let's get the ball rolling. Let's get back home a uh, couple weeks, get some Christmas holidays done, and let's get back here in the ring. Hey, Jamie, congrats on the win. Thanks. Um, was there anything in there tonight that surprised you? You seem to have a bit of a second wind in the back half of the fight. Did you expect to have to take her into deep waters? Uh, <clears throat> my coaching staff, I could hear them saying, you know, we got to win this. we got to, we got to get going. Like, they're trying to light a fire under my ass, and uh, they do a really good job of doing that and keeping me sort of grounded and on, on the right path. And I felt like... Yeah, you know, I start out, um, typically I start out my fights a little bit slower, just sort of sort of suss out the situation, see what the game plan is. I uh, feel like I did a good job applying myself a little earlier in the first round than my last fight. So, uh, yeah, I feel like that second half, I always tend to have a really good engine in the tank, and, and I knew I had it in me to keep pushing and, and just push forward and take some punches just to land a few extra. After the uh, loss to Veronica, how much pressure did you put on yourself to come back and have a big performance? Uh, I don't feel like I did put a lot of um, sort of pressure on myself on that. I just sort of took that loss and, um, you know, I sat in my own feelings for a few weeks and then I came back and I thought, you know what, I'm going to apply myself differently uh, mentally um, going into this next fight camp and I feel like that sort of paid off for me. Like I said, I have a really good coaching staff just behind us here and, uh, you know, that I knew that they weren't going to let me down and that they were going to prepare me in every way possible to never have that experience you know, obviously it's a possibility, but to not have that experience tonight here on home, home soil. Do you think you set the tone for uh, Team Canada tonight? I really hope so. You know, I have a really great um, connection with a lot of the fighters that are coming up behind me. I've trained with them. I've been on the same fight cards with them. And, uh, you know, I have a really good feeling that Canada is going to have a really great night tonight. Last one for me. What do you want next? If it's, if it's not a name, do you have like a date or a time frame in mind? Yeah, I'd like to fight early next year. Um, and let's try to get in like at least three fights next year. Uh, more if uh, they got some short notice and they want me to jump in and step in. Um, I fought at 35 and I fight at 25. So, you know, I'm, I'm available. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Jamie. Hi. Um, you had a couple of kicks that were caught in rounds one and rounds two. Um, you know, you kind of didn't throw too many kicks in rounds three utilize your boxing very well, had some success in the clinch. Was that an adjustment that you felt you had to make or something that came from your coaches in between rounds? Um, a bit of both, you know, I knew that, that she wasn't really sort of defending anything when I was pushing forward and um, she had caught a couple kicks so I knew down in, inside that I wasn't going to sort of throw those, I was going to sort of get in tighter with that boxing range and use my hands, it's something I really worked on this last fight camp and I've become a lot more confident with um, and that being said, just because I couldn't kick didn't mean I couldn't knee, so uh, closing the distance, pushing her back and, and if the kicks were there we would take them but I felt like my hands were doing a lot more damage than the kicks were at that time. You know, you said you wanted to take some time off. Uh, do you have any names that you'd like to face in the division right now? I, don't, I haven't really looked that far ahead. I really do leave that to my coaching staff to sort of look ahead and, and sort of pick that for me. And uh, I just, I'll say yes to anything. So um, I, I leave it to the professionals in my corner and uh, I just do my job. I'm the worker and they're just playing the game. 
Thank you. Congrats on the win. Thank you.